Hello everyone. Today, 8th of April, is an opportunity to celebrate the anniversary of the Entente Cordiale between the United Kingdom and France, which was made official on 8th April 1904. At the dawn of the 20th century, the Entente Cordiale aimed to smooth over colonial disagreements between the two European powers. The text was initialed in London by my distant predecessor, Paul Cambon, French ambassador to the UK, and Lord Lansdowne, the British Foreign Secretary. Even though the term Entente Cordiale did not feature officially in the text signed, it was widely adopted and did reflect the spirit of the initiative. It was a decisive stage in the closer ties between UK and France. After two world wars, the memory of our shared battles and of the dead who fell for the same ideal of freedom that drives us is stronger than ever. So many things bring us together naturally. Geography, a mutual affection between our two peoples, substantial and varied cooperation projects in the cultural, scientific and economic fields, and a very close strategic and defense alliance governed by the Lancaster Arrows Treaties. But the current exceptional circumstances are also prompting us to forge even closer ties. It's together that we must rebuild certain international reference points, often shaken as demonstrated by the war in Ukraine, and work together to find jointly against global warming. In this regard, the European political community provides us with an opportunity to work together in a wider space for the benefit of our continent's security and stability. President Macron and Prime Minister Sunak discussed all these issues at the bilateral summit held in Paris on the 10th of March. We are working on both sides of the channel on implementing the new objective for cooperation decided at the summit. As you can see, the Entente Cordiale talks to us about the past, present and future. Let's be worthy of that legacy. Long live Franco-British friendship.